This has been a really eventful week. Hey, oh my God. what's up? You're back? Yeah, I'm here to stay. Where should I start? And now, I'm all the way up there. I think this week I got saved by the comment of a troll. Maybe let's start at the beginning. Welcome to my first very own studio space. The last two places that I used, which you've seen in a lot of my videos, I was only using and somebody else was actually renting them and they let me use them and use them for my videos, use them for my work. So I started in this area here and I was there for more than two years. I spent two months in here and now I'm all the way up there. Now I've moved up the ladder in its literal sense because I'm on the first floor now and I have this own space. I have it completely to my own. And being here feels like a part of me could now finally return to me a part that had been away for a while. And that part has to do with music. Because I always played music in my life. I started playing the flute when I was five or six years old. I learned the guitar somewhat later in my teens. And then I made a lot of music. And over the last couple of years, I kind of lost it. I kind of kept my guitar somewhere in the corner and didn't use it very much. And now having this space means that I could first bring my piano, I could connect it to my MacBook, which runs GarageBand, which isn't a professional software, but it helps me to explore again. And that's something that I so very much love. I love to explore sounds and I do love to explore one thing. And that one thing that I love to explore has to do with what it is that I actually want to achieve with my work. And that's something that I only recently realized. Because what I want to achieve with my work, with everything I do, I could summarize in three words. And those are the three words. A way forward. Why? To me, that is quite obvious. So let me explain. Life is chaotic. When we put things into structures, they stop being chaotic, but at the same time, they lose their spirit. They lose their liveliness, if you will. And you see, the goal of my work has always been to try and understand the chaos and try to turn it into something beneficial, both for myself and others. And by a way forward, I mean that when previously there was just chaos around you or you're living in a very unlively structure, you can still turn it into something that's alive but going into a specific direction. So take the energy from that chaos and turn it into something beneficial for you and the environment you're living in. You see, I think I kind of stepped into a trap. I would call it the attention trap. I keep using apps like Instagram and YouTube, not really to scroll, but more to create and to then try to create some attention. But this isn't my end goal. It's not my end goal to have a large audience. It's not my main goal to speak to anyone and everyone. This week I got saved by the comment of a troll. I uploaded a short that I posted both on YouTube and as a reel on Instagram. Dieses Lied hier 
Das kennst du. Das ist nämlich Clint Eastwood von den Gorillas. Was aber fast niemand kennt, ist das hier. It's the Rock One Preset. It was about the origin of the famous song by the Gorillas called Clint Eastwood. The origin of the song, the very characteristic <laughs> bassline and the very characteristic sound is actually based upon a preset. It's the preset of the Suzuki Omnichord. The Suzuki Omnichord is quite a cool instrument that you can get for very little money. And the Gorillas, when they created the song, they simply picked up this preset and turned it into this world-class, world-famous song. And when I mentioned this in my short, in my reel, I made two very obvious mistakes. The first one is that I said that Damon Albarn and Zane Lowe in this scene found out that the song by the Gorillas was based on this preset, which is obviously wrong because Damon wrote the song and created the song, so he didn't find that out. And the second obvious mistake that I made was that I called the Omnichord a toy that you could buy in the supermarket. Now that of course is debatable. Is it a toy compared to world-class musical instruments? It might be, but still it's quite sophisticated. Still, I received especially one comment on Instagram that basically said, man, you're an idiot. Took me 20 seconds to debunk what you've just said. <laughs> you, you cannot find this reel anymore because I deleted it. I also deleted the short on YouTube. How did this comment actually save me? Well, it reminded me why I'm doing all this. Because it's not about reaching millions. It's not about reaching thousands. It's about creating something that means something to me. You see, I don't mind criticism because I think it's in fact necessary to get better at anything we want to improve in. What I don't like is to make obvious mistakes and then ignore them and then be reminded of them. And most of the things that I do, they're mostly harmless. I think that would be a great title for almost anything I do because I simply create stuff, I make things. And I do have a lot of flaws. I am not the best on the piano. I don't even know what a synthesizer is. I try to create things that I like. And so when somebody criticizes me in that, I'm okay with it because there aren't any surprises for me. But what I can't handle is when I make an obvious mistake and then somebody tells me, you made a mistake, you dumbass. That's something <laughs> I don't like. And I think that I've lost this touch in the last maybe couple of weeks, couple of months by optimizing anything and everything I do for visibility by optimizing it to ship many things as fast and as frequently as possible. But now I feel like I'm in a good position to change that again. To take more time to create something that means something to me, to myself, and that way offers you and anyone who's watching it this way forward. And to be honest, that feels really good. And I'm very much looking forward to creating many things from this very table and this very space.